Hello everyone, my name is Butatonzi. Welcome back to another wonderful episode of Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope, where we last left off. We have progressed through Terra Flora and we have completed its main story areas, and we're about to complete the last side quest that is also going to lead us to getting another spark. And then we're going to be going to one of the past planets to face off one of the uh, side bosses. Uh, Rabbit Mario playing his instrument again. Okay. Anywho, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to go off to the new world and see what that new world has to offer for us. So first, let us start with this one. How to remove this thorn. In the way to remove it's right there. Okay, that was kind of creepy. Living on a live volcano is surprisingly dull, usually. Yet now I am banished from my workshop by dark magic. Uh, okay. Welcome. Good tidings, warriors. Yes, good tidings. Please forgive me for having no hearth to receive you by. For any refreshment of water mixed with salts and sulfur compounds. No, no, it's all gone. The lily pad moved with. That was uh, okay, weird. Talk to Comet. Excuse me, Mr. Alchementor? Sir? I need a potion fast. My cauldron was seized by dark magic. Nothing that enhances bone health or replenishes electrolytes brew there now. Please, I want to fight the forces of darkness, but I need a potion to make me brave. Very well. As you are in a hurry, I will need assistance from my new visitors here. If they can cleanse my cauldron from its corruption, then I will be able to help you. Very well. You see the doors to my laboratory? Enter at will. Okay, I guess we're going to help him cleanse his cauldron of corruption and make a potion for a spark to be brave. Okay. Nothing like a little incentive to help someone be braver than they are. Cannot turn the camera in this The hell? Why does it look like a chalkboard's behind? Gross! I am not drinking anything from this guy's lab. I don't care how photographable it is. Well, that is the corruption he was talking about, so we're here to cleanse it. So, of course, you're not going to drink it until we cleanse it. Now, let's cleanse it. What do we got to do? Darkness in the cauldron. Defeat all. Okay, so this is just a defeat all mission. That shouldn't be too bad. Got a bunch of ghosties all over the place. Many a ghosties all over the place. I think we're gonna bring. You know, it's been a while since we used them. Let's use a. Uh... Let's use Edge. Okay, so I swapped out Bowser. I mean, swapped out Edge for Bowser because it wasn't working out to have two reaction characters. So I'm gonna see if maybe this works out a little bit better. Oops. Honestly, hoping it does because this is a little bit tough. All right. Oh yeah. Got rid of that one. There's only two of them left. Took me a little bit in having to swap out Edge for Bowser. His minions make it a little bit easier to deal with these ghost guys, especially since the oozers will sometimes occasionally waste their, uh, their AoE abilities to seal, uh, the 
Mecha Rabbit Koopas instead of us. So it makes it a lot easier. Still somewhat annoying, but definitely a lot easier. us a little while for that but that's okay I can shave it off wait do we actually have to the potion yes so. yes yes you truly are warriors they did it you can brew a potion that'll make me brave now right <laughs> if I didn't know better, I would say I already had. Let's do this. Now, with the puddle out of the way, the real work must begin. I wonder if you do me the honor of crafting a tincture to cure our craven friend. The recipe is simple, but beware. One flaw, one misstep. The outcome could prove most distasteful. Recipe is on the blackboard, though it is in code. My competitors would love to steal and mass produce it as their own. The symbols will tell you which ingredient would should be used on which frame. You must find out the correct order. One mistake, such as the wrong ingredient or the wrong flame, and you'll need to start again from scratch, and inventory costs will rise. We can do it. Right, guys? Okay, so... Follow my recipe carefully. Alright, so... I think what it's telling us is... Because we need to rot... Wait, what, what does rotating this do? Oh... Hold on. I think I'm understanding. So, blue flame... And no blue stone... And then... Okay, so... I do like this. Turn it. I'm starting to get it now. Okay. So. Alright, this one's actually simple. Yeah. Really? Oh, come on. Okay. So. Yeah, this should do. Please let this be the last one. Thank you.
Okay. He took a potion bath. Point me at the forces of darkness. I want to look them right in the eye. Uh, why don't you come with us? At least until you cool down a little. Oh, I'll cool down once I get some answers from those evil doers around the galaxy. Alchemantor, did you know the chemical composition of your courage potion is identical to blackberry mineral water? He gave him blackberry mineral water. Is that so? Is that so, fairy spirit? Well, there's nothing that says magic can't be effervescent and flavorful. Or all in one's mind, perhaps. The secrets exchanged at the crossroads of science and magic are not mine. <laughs> now, who's up for some vitamin-infused sparkling lemongrass water, hmm? Okay. Thank you for that. At least I got that completely settled and out of the way. Uh, warrior and the windbag. Oh, so there's still one more to do. Eight, and one, last two, night, well, bye bye. That was simple. It was literally just clearing out the darkness eyes. Those ones I started to like not show too many of them on my videos because like it's just extra stuff. Just like down here, this is like more extra stuff as well. And it looks like there's a cinematic cutscene to be shown here. Yep, there she is. You are no. Oh. Wait. Yes, I am not doomed. I am the one who saved you. Now window shopping. Us that co holders are grateful. Now, exhilarating combat awaits you beyond the gateway. Well. As much as I'd like to do that, I'm gonna have to do that off camera uh, because I promised my viewers in this video that I would be going straight to the other world after doing all this. So that's what I plan to do. So I'm gonna quickly grow this bridge and get this probe that I've been seeing multiple times and also kick down this ladder because why not? I would get to it. And we're gonna head okay. to the next world. So all of that took around like some 40 minutes So I'm gonna have to cut 40 minutes out of this whole video of all of this, but that's fine That's easy to do with editing now uh, But yeah, so I'm gonna take care of that off camera because it's just a challenge. It's just a side quest to do a challenge It's not important uh, But what we are gonna do before we head to the next world as I said there is a another side boss in order to fight in the past world and it's a large giant version of the ghost guys so this is probably gonna be a very annoying fight but that is fine because we're gonna be beating that thing and then we're gonna be going to Berendale Mesa so let us go to Palette Prime let us see what this boss fight holds for us before we go to Mesa. All right, and here we are. Time to unlock this pipe and prepare for fighting another giant. This is a literal giant ghosty guy. He's probably going to be a very annoying fight. And I'm just looking around just in case if there's any secrets and not. Oh, so let's go and fight him. Okay, that went from being creepily eerie to creepily goofy. <laughs> giant surprise. Defeat giant depleter. Okay, so it's a giant version of the vampire guys. I already hate this because the depleters do a large amount of damage. And now we're going to be facing a giant version. 
Oversized and aggressive opponent that gets close and restores some of its health at the expense of the its opponents with each successful assault. Its, its, its technique allows it to immediately respond to attacks with a counterattack. Okay. So he automatically counters whenever we attack. That may be annoying. Oh, but it has a range. It has a radius. So as long as we're out of the radius, he can't counterattack. It's as long as we're inside the radius, he'll counter. And it's put on a cooldown of two turns afterwards. So he only counters once. Okay. Hmm. Methinks I will have to go for maybe having Luigi join us. And I don't know why they, for some reason, decided to get rid of uh, Rabbit Peach. Well, then again, it was from the last minute. And I think also we're gonna have to go with Bowser. Because we're going to have to go full minion support so that we get numbers. Because I have an idea that if we can make him counter the minions, we can kind of take advantage of that then. So now all we need to do is just have the necessities to killing his friends. Which is Fire Stooges. They're making a return. We have these annoying ghostly walkers again. And that's it. So, fire guys and ghostly walkers. Okay, that's not too much of a problem. Okay, that shouldn't have wasted itself on that guy. So glad that it did that. So glad. Honestly, I'm not. This guy is almost dead. Literally, all I have is to hit him a little bit more. Even though Rabbit Rosalina could have probably made this one easy too due to her spell, I say Luigi is helping out a lot of this. It's not helping though, but he keeps doing that. But Bowser has a lot of HP, so he's actually sustaining it. Uh, okay, so... Uh, I'd say the best way to counter him would be behind this wall. Surely he can't hit us behind this wall. You wasted your counter. No, no, I want to finish him off with the wild claw. So, Luigi. Uh, yeah. pow. And now, wild claw. Do your thing. Finish him off. And we win. So far, this whole recording has been over an hour and pretty much a half, an hour and a half. But at least we got him done. Berendale Mesa, let us go see what is on this planet. Oh. <laughs> Chatting. We are approaching Barondale Mesa, once known as a cradle of abundance throughout the galaxy. That was until the rabbits here stripped it of its natural resources and abandoned it to repeat their mistakes elsewhere. Fortunately, Mama the Mechanic is still on the planet. 
The one person in the galaxy who can outfit our ship with the ability to break through the shields protecting Curse's stronghold. Hmm. If that's right, the downright sneakiest, dirtiest, most devious of the spark hunters will be waiting for us down there. Hmm. Well, we didn't see any spark hunters on Terra Flora. Perhaps they've given up. Oh, wait a second. Did you say the most devious of the spark hunters? Yeah, and I bet the devious one is the plant one. Uh... Whoever this mama is, she better hope we find her first. Are we going to see a cutscene of what's happening with Cursa's end and all that? Nope, we're just going straight to the planet. Landing procedures interrupted. There is a massive electro-geomagnetic storm on the surface. Darkness tentacle at work. We will have to jump. Thankfully, we're just a few meters off the ground. Beepo, the storm has interfered with your eco-locative abilities. We are precisely 46.726 meters above the surface. The collision energy at that distance at your speed of impact is 73,266,368.07 joules. Huh? Come again? You will become flatter than a tortilla on an elephant's rocking chair. Well, there you go. Genie has clearly lost it. Follow me, everyone. Remember, feet and knees together when landing. This is not gonna work out. Why are we doing this? Bowser just shoves everyone out. He's ready to go. <laughs> she grabs a hold of Bowser. Hey! Hey, balloon! Poor Luigi. Knew that wasn't gonna sustain his impact. Wow, that was the slowest high five I've ever seen. I'm guessing she's not happy we popped her. Mm. Hi, Mama. Great gibbity goobers. Another character with a weird saying. First it was great horn spoon. Now it's great gibbity goobers. It's okay. We're okay. You're okay? You're okay? What about my balloon? Sorry, that was a miscalculation by our ship's AI. We are here on an urgent mission. That was a miscalculation on your part, Beepo. Uh, hi. We need your help to stop Cursa. Shops closed. Garage is closed. Next service station's 96 million light years down the road. Y'all have a nice day. You are Mama, correct? Walden and <coughs> Master Mechanic? If our ship is not outfitted with the technology to penetrate the shields around Kessa's stronghold, our mission is sunk. Ha! You're gonna buffalo Kersa? You ain't even got the sense not to skydive without a parachute. <sighs> Power's out, you know. Anyhow, I can't help you even if I wanted to. Power's out at my st shop. Storms made my windmill all wackadaisy. Tell you what. Tell you what. Get my windmill working properly, and I'll see what I can do about your spaceship and them shields. No promises. What? What's happening? What's behind us? How's that? It's one of our ship's teleport probes. Look, there's a load from Genie, too. Beepo, though we cannot communicate directly due to the storm, this probe can teleport everyone to the ship at any time. Or, 
If you still think the ship is only a few meters off the ground, feel free to jump up. Yeah, you you pretty much walked into that beep though. Miscalculation, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Well, people deserve that, Mr. Oh, we're just a, f a few feet off the ground. So, Mama will help us, but only if we help her get her windmill working properly again. Which, I'm gonna guess it's not supposed to spin in that direction, and it's supposed to spin clockwise. But, of course, there's Dark Miss Tentacle that's causing the problem. And that... That over there kind of looks creepy. I don't uh, want to know what the hell's going on over there. Alrighty, so I guess uh, for our first time on the planet, might as well get rid of this right here. The Desert Riptide. Vanquish the puddle keeping you from the desert. So we're at a desert planet. Okay. I thought we were going to a big mechanical planet, but... Well, I mean, it kind of is, but it's, it's just mostly a desert. Ooh. Defeat Riptides. Huh. Okay, so we got those big uh, wild claws, but they're blue. Well, at least they're not green or they would die. Sorry, Luigi, but it looks like you're dying. And I guess Bowser too, because... Well, actually, no, he's green and yellow. So I guess only half of him will die. Huh? <laughs> So I'm going to guess because of these guys that we're dealing with, we're going to be dealing with water ones. So I'm going to see if maybe I can zappity zap zap them to a new oblivion by using Electro Garden. Electrogeddon's help, we may be able to do the damage we need. We just have to be careful of them hitting Rabid Mario. And then as for assistance from our support being Rabid Peach, uh, we're going to give them the Electro Dash, and we're going to keep Luigi in the team. Because we got snipers, and Luigi is actually really good at countering snipers, being he has longer range than them. But let's take a look at what these guys do first. Okay, yeah, so they are water-based. Uh, let's see, finds the closest opponent on which to inflict splash-based attacks for considerable damage. When hit, will doggedly pursue its attacker, upon which it will deal even more damage due to their rage. Okay, so they're like the regular Wild Claws, but now they're resistant to water and weak to shock, and they do more damage upon taking damage. Oh boy. Rabbit Mario. It's time for the Electro Geddon. Oh, they still absorbed that. That worked out a little bit better in my head. Retreat! Oh, crap. Well, at least he got rid of his friend. Okay. I can already see really bad things about this. They're both in radius of those barrels. I feel like that barrel may save my life. I do not know. It would be better than nothing. Oh. 
We only got a couple of those guys left, but those Riptides are actually a little bit of a nuisance. They're pretty durable, and I was hoping that Electro Geddy would do a lot of damage to them, but apparently not. Uh, his body is not close enough to revive. Uh, I kind of wish we could pick up the barrels. Drop them somewhere, but apparently not. <laughs> and Rabbit Mario's back. Excelente. Okay, now shoot that guy. <laughs> Oh, that works. Uh, well, I bet Mario cannot attack. So I guess I'm gonna have to. And we're There's only one left. Still wish I could pick up that barrel and just throw it down at him. Ow. It's okay. He is literally close to dying. <laughs> this should kill him right here. Now we use Luigi and yeah. goes to Weasel. Oh, yeah. Alright. They're not too bad, but they're literally like an upgrade of Wild Claws. They're literally Wild Claw upgrades where they have water attacks. And they still do the whole pursue, but now they have the addition of the rage. Me, oh, the uh, the rage attack, which makes their next attack enhanced based on the amount of damage they absorb from their enemies. So that's a little bit of a problem. That was, oh, okay, this is a this is a side quest, and there's magic Koopas. I did see that in uh, Terra Flora, there's a giant Magic Koopa um, mini boss. So I figured that there was going to be like mass produced. Well, actually, I think this should be a good point to end off the episode here. So in the next video, we are going to. Um, Pursue the main quest of Baron Dale Mesa, and of course I'm gonna do some side quests on the side, off camera, because they're not important. They're just side stuff that gives me more experience, more uh, star bits, and all that stuff. So it's not important. I don't want to, I don't want to bore people with like them seeing me do all the extra stuff, because that's what they are. They're all sub quests. That's what the, all the little icons are. They're all sub quests. But I will showcase the ones that give sparks and such, though, because I figured, why not? If people are interested to maybe finding out, like, oh, how do I get, like, this spark? Kind of like what I just did in Terra Flora of getting the toxic uh, projectile uh, version of the ooze spark. Well, now you know, because I showed you through the quest that I just did. So now you know where to get the projectile-based ooze uh, spark. So I hope that helps out. Uh, anywho, so we're going to leave off this video here, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe, and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of content that uploads onto my channel and to help support it. See you, as I said before, in the next video. Take care, all you wonderful people. Have a wonderful, safe day. Bye, everyone. It's delicious.